Running randomized evaluations. A practical guide, Rachel Glenister and Kudzai Takavarasha, Princeton University Press, Princeton and Oxford, copyright 2013. The preface, over the past 10 years, there has been a dramatic increase in the quantity and quality of rigorous impact evaluations that have tested the effectiveness of specific approaches to reducing poverty from Britain to Burkina Faso. Randomized impact evaluations have enjoyed a particularly dramatic increase in popularity. 20 years ago, a few randomized evaluations were carried out by governments outside the United States, international agencies, or non-governmental organizations, except as a way to test the effectiveness of medicines or vaccines. Today, hundreds of randomized evaluations are being undertaken by all sorts of different organizations and on virtually every subject of importance to policy including education, health, governance, the environment, and empowerment. These randomized impact evaluations are improving, are improving under these randomized impact evaluations are improving our understanding of the fundamental processes that underlie the persistence of poverty and the pathways out of it. Each evaluation answers some questions and raises new ones the next building on the last, successively adding to our knowledge of what works, knowledge we need to design better programs and more effectively fight poverty. We have written this book for those who want to help generate a rigorous evidence base on ways to reduce poverty wherever uh, it exists in the world by running or taking part in rigorous impact evaluations. Running a randomized evaluation requires making hundreds of practical decisions and constant trade-offs, especially in resource-poor settings where the best laid plants can be quickly o overtaken by events. Much of this book draws on the practical experience of the Abdul Latif Jamil Poverty Action Lab, j -PAL, a research network based at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, with affiliated research centers and researchers at universities around the world. The camaraderie within j -PAL means that every publication, conference, or talk has many contributors, including those who never attracted the limelight. So many people have provided input and advice on this book that it is almost disingenuous to isolate just two authors. Pascaline Dupas and Michael Kremer have answered hundreds of our questions and commented on numerous drafts over the several years it has taken to write this book. They are also responsible for getting us into the randomization business in the first place. Mark Shotland gave valuable input and advice on virtually every chapter and is the creator of the online tools that accompany this book. Allison Capillieri created the appendix, glossary, and bibliography and copy edited the entire book. Claire Walsh fact-checked all mentions of existing studies. Lee, Leah Horgan designed the figures and the cover. And John Floretta gave detailed input on Chapter 5. Ben Fingenberg and Ben Marks checked the technical precision of our non-technical language, especially in Chapters 4, 6, and 8. And Ben Marks generated all the power graphs Caitlin Tulock and Anna Yalours helped with the examples on cost effectiveness. Michael Krimmer and Ben Olkin patiently helped us work through some of the tougher econometric issues. We are deeply grateful for the detailed comments of many anonymous referees and are particularly grateful to Guido M. Benz and Jorn Stefan Piske for their very thorough and thoughtful reviews, which led to a much improved book. Finally, without Mary Ann Bates, this book would never have seen the light of day. Her fresh eyes, good judgment, creative rights, and merciless blue pencil whipped the book into shape.